Good afternoon. It is January 19th, 2022. Number for today is 8. So you take the 1, okay, and then you add 1 plus 9, which is 10, and you break that down into another 1, and you've got 2022. 222 is a 6. 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. That's how you get your numbers. Okay, let's find out what our other numbers are for today. We've got a 2, we've got 3, 3, 3, and a 6. And initials for today's reading. We've got a V, we've got a Z, we've got a T, and we've got a C. I'm going to do um, an oracle reading, six card spread for the next few months. Card one will be January theme, card two will be a February theme, card three will be a March theme, card four will how do you embrace the themes over the next three months, What card five will be what changes may be coming, and card six will be how can you feel your best during this time. So we're kind of rounding out the next three months, which is the winter months. So let's see what the next few months will bring us. Overall theme of empowerment. Nice card. Overall theme. What do you need to release? And overall theme of be real. Full moon and Aquarius. If you were in a lockdown situation, I'm fucking tired of it. I don't know what anybody else. But take the time to explore your life. You know, you're off work right now. Is it a job you actually want to return to? Is it a relationship that needs changes? What do you need to empower yourself? Oh, I wish I could find the spot where it shows the best. Empower yourself over the next few months. Okay? What do you need to release? And keeping it real. Let's see what the cards have to tell us. Okay, spell casting. January theme. January theme. Thank you. Confidence. February theme. February theme. February theme. Thank you. Transformation. Okay. Changes are coming. People are getting tired of the way life is. What are you going to transform into? Your March theme. Your March theme. There it is. Reconciliation. How are you going to embrace these themes over the next few months? How are you going to embrace these themes? Thank you. Through willpower. <laughs> really? Fuck. Can't imagine. What changes are coming? What changes are coming? Financial health. Great card. Um, and how can you feel your best during these times? How can you feel your best? Feel your best. Prosperity. Courage. A lot came out. Sorry that they're blurry. Courage. Protection. Good luck. Love. Happiness. Psychic abilities and grieving. Wow. 
Once again, how can you feel your best? Grieving, psychic abilities, happiness, love, good luck, protection, courage, and prosperity. That was a big group that came out. January theme for Moonology cards. Just one already. January theme for Moonology. Thank you. It's time to take action. New Moon in Aries. Okay. Along with your confidence. Theme for February. Theme for February. And theme for February. A win win outcome is in forecast. Full moon in Libra. So you're going to be transforming in February. It's going to be a win win situation. March theme. March theme. Thank you. Got a few in March. Okay, it's about reconciliation. A fiery climax is approaching, full moon in Aries. Don't let your past hold you back, south node. And communication is key. Full moon, new moon in Gemini. Okay. How to embrace these themes through willpower. What do you need to know? Embracing the themes and willpower. Embracing the themes. Thank you. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay. Romance can be love of another person, can be love of a new career. Financial help, what changes are coming. What changes are coming. And what changes are coming. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. And how can you feel your best during this time? Adjustments are required. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Surrender to the divine and know that you are good enough. <laughs> I take it that knowing how you can feel your best during this time is going to be a challenge. I already got a boot. Fuck. I don't know. Quite a few cards here. <laughs> January theme. What do you need to manifest in January? Know your worth. February theme. What do you need to manifest in February? Release your blocks. What do you need to... Oh, thank you. Manifest in March. Clearing your mind. Let your fears dissolve. Attune to the divine. And speak your world into being. March is going to be a tough month. Just reviewing March. You've got some reconciliation. Okay, whether it's romance, friendships, or jobs. Okay. So you're going to have a fiery climax. Don't let your past hold you back. Communication is key. Along with clearing your mind. Let your fears dissolve. Attune to the divine and speak your world into being. March is going to be a, a heavy month. Um, how to embrace these themes. How to embrace these themes. How do you embrace these themes? 
Thank you. Believe in good luck. Reflect on your priorities and relax. Easier said than done, but learn to. What changes are coming? What changes are coming? What changes are coming? Thank you. Step up and lead. I'm sorry that it's blurry. I can't find and go wild. And how are you going to feel during the next few months? How are you going to feel? You're going to be in a forgiveness, honoring your feelings, and practice gratitude. Over the next few months, ending beginning of 2022, okay, it's the theme of empowerment. Taking some time to see what you need to release and be real about it. Okay, change is hard. In January, you're going to be confident, knowing that it's time to take action, but also knowing, knowing your own worth. February... You're going to be looking at transformation, a win-win outcome is in forecast, and releasing your blocks. March is going to be a sticky month. It's two years since all this bullshit started, so that makes sense. We're tired of it. You're going to have some reconciliation, a fire and climax approaches. Don't let your past hold you back. Communication is key, along with clearing your mind. Let your fears dissolve. Attune to the divine and speak your world into being. So if you're making ch changes, whether it's in love or work or whatever avenue of your life, speak your world into being. Don't speak the negative because that will come manifest as well, but speak the positive into your life. Okay. Oh, shit, I closed my book. Willpower. A new romantic cycle begins. Believe in your good luck. Reflect on your priorities and relax. That's card four, which is how to embrace those themes. So relax over the next few months. It's not going to be easy. <coughs> card five, change is coming to your financial health. Okay, your dreams need a practical plan. Step up and lead. Time to go wild. And how you're going to feel your best during the time, these times. We've got a shitload of them. Okay. You're going to have to take time to grieve. There's no other way around it. There's no other way around it. I wish I could find the spot. You're going to have to tune into your psychic abilities. You're going to find happiness in your days. You're going to find love in your days. You're going to rely on good luck. You're going to ask for protection. You're going to find the courage to stand up and change your life. You're going to be prosperous. Okay, adjustments are going to be required. You're going to surrender to the divine. The end of a tough, tough cycle approaches. Remember, this is leading us right up until March. Know that you are good enough. You need to forgive. You need to honor your own feelings. And stay in the state of gratitude. Can't emphasize that enough. We're going to end on 1414.